Hi everyone, my name is Chloe and today I'm going to be teaching you the Bible lesson. Merry Christmas to all of you guys. Wait, it isn't Christmas? Not until December? I think I forgot. Well, today we're just going to celebrate Christmas in July. Well, we'll stop and pretend that it's Christmas time. Well, as you know, this summer we've been talking about faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Sure, we can't always see Jesus with our eyes, but we can put our faith in Jesus because we know who he is and what he's done. When we put our focus on Jesus, we start to understand how good he is. We realize that we can trust him completely. And that, my friends, is a gift. So, as you can see, well, you can't see, but now you can. I have some gifts here today, and we're going to be talking about these gifts and about a gift that God offers to each of us. So, I'm a little embarrassed, but I'm not the best at wrapping gifts, if you can't tell. It's kind of mismatched, random pieces of tape all over it. But, that's okay. And sometimes, there's gifts that are a lot better wrapped than mine, and that can make me feel embarrassed. Hmm. But before we talk about all of this, let's pick up where we were in God's big story. So we've been talking about what happened with the people who believed in Jesus after Jesus died. Last week, I believe we talked about, well, Miss Pastor Lisa talked to you about Paul, who was also called Saul. Paul traveled around and shared Jesus' message with people all over the place. He also wrote a bunch of letters these letters were written to different churches to encourage them. Now these letters are even found in the New Testament. One of the letters was written to a church in Ephesus. That was a place where new believers were. This letter that was written to Ephesus, the church in Ephesus, is now called the book of Ephesians. So today we're going to read a little bit out of Ephesians, specifically Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. So grab your Bibles and read along with me. So, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. <sighs> I bet the Ephesians didn't, I bet the Ephesians needed to hear that. I know I do sometimes. You see, we all mess up, like I kind of did on this gift. It wasn't my best wrapping job. And sometimes that can make me, when I mess up like I did on this gift, I can feel pretty crummy about myself. And then we'll see other people whose gifts are wrapped or how they're doing much better than we are. I'll grab a couple more gifts to show you. For example, this one looks really nice too. So does this one. Sometimes will think that these people, they can be our friends. Our family. And sometimes even our small group leaders. Or, yeah, or maybe our teachers. They seem to just be doing a lot better than we are. And so then we will compare ourselves to them. Hmm. But it's important to remember that nobody is perfect and except for Jesus. And we all mess up. So even if people look like they're perfect, they still have messed up too. No person is perfect. <sighs> so sometimes we mess up and then we feel like we have to fix it ourselves. So for example, with my present... I have some wrapping paper here that I'm going to try and fix my present with so it can look a lot more better. Let's see. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks better? I don't think it does. I even think it might look worse. 
So sometimes when we try and fix our own problems, it doesn't always turn out as we'd hope. But this is the best part. And the really good news is that it's not always our job to fix what's wrong or what we have messed up on. That's why God sent Jesus. You don't have to do everything perfect to fit in. God loves you and accepts you no matter what you've done or will do. You can't work to earn his love. So even though my wrapping job isn't the best, and neither is this person's, God still loves us, and that is a gift. So, as it says in Ephesians 2.8, where I read earlier, let's read that again. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not for your, from yourselves. It is the gift of God. So like I said, we can't do it to fix any, we can't fix ourselves, but God can, or he can fix us. So look at this gift right here. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's very well wrapped. We can put all of these gifts in there. Because God loves us. How awesome is that? Hmm. So, Jesus is a gift for everyone. He fixes the mess we made and turns it into something beautiful like this gift right here. Woo. So, as I said, the bottom line is Jesus is a gift for everyone. How awesome is that? <clears throat> and now I'll introduce, well, I've actually already talked about the memory verse for this month, and that's Ephesians 2.8. It says, For it is by the grace of God you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. You guys, thank you so much for letting me be able to join your Bible lesson today. Uh, I hope you all have a great week, and I think Pastor Lisa will be back next week to teach it.